and you're playing on roller. Get a grip, get out. Nobody's watching you, TTV, by the way. Guy is so f bad. I miss you, Jay Coochie. <laughs> What's going on? It's your boy Jay Coochie. Listen, I'm back. I got you guys with the long awaited movement guide that I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for from me. Before I say anything in this video, I want to tell you guys I'm live on kick every night. The link will be in the description. So if you guys want to come by, I'd really appreciate it. In this guide, we'll be going over absolutely everything that you need to know to move on people, Twitch streamers, whatever the case is, go for clips. So I don't want to take up too much of your time without any more said. Enjoy. All right, before we start anything, I got to show you guys the settings, right? Because I'm not going to show you a movement guide without showing you the settings. How are you going to move with the wrong settings? So we got to go through the settings first all right settings controller settings i want to go through what's most important keep in mind dead zone is completely up to your own controller i play on 15 don't copy someone else's dead zone we should all know that now i'm gonna get into why i play such a high sense being that it's 17 17 this is very important for the movement guide and moving on twitch streamers or opponents whatever the case is it's very important that you have a high sensitivity automatic tactical sprint gotta be a must number one you need it you can't play without it it's useless don't play without it don't do it just put it on please next thing i want to get into is slide only and slide behavior or whatever the case is if you want to be using dolphin dive you should do tap to slide the issue with tap to slide is that there is a small delay when you click it so if I click the slide button, there is a small delay that I'm going to get to slide from when I click the button and when I release it, because if I hold it, I can dive. Diving is very useful in Warzone and situations like that. I'm not sure if I'm going to change it to bring back Dolphin Diving. I don't know yet. I'll see what happens when I actually play the new Warzone. But as of right now on multiplayer, I am sticking with slide only. It just feels much smoother. It's much more responsive. Ledge climb behavior movement based. I really believe that's it. For Warzone, obviously you want to apply all for your armor play behavior. This, I like prioritize interact because when I do door plays, it usually just prioritizes shutting the door and sliding through and then making it door play whatever the case is right but other than that that's really it for uh for all the settings you need for this tutorial now what we've all been waiting for i'm gonna get through the basics slide canceling very easy if you don't have paddles you can use the right stick if you use tactical i use default because i have paddles all you do is run auto attack sprint b a that's it that's all you do don't b b because you're gonna crouch and it's not gonna give you the right thing don't b b a don't do it b a that's it b a ea that's it make it a make it make it a habit we do know that the tactical sprint is kind of broken with the slide cancels right now which is annoying i hope it's fixed by the time warzone comes out not sure when you guys are watching this if warzone's released already but it is a week away from today as of when i'm recording this to get your tax sprint back obviously out of a slide cancel you see i'm not getting no tax sprint out of a slide cancel to get it back you literally just have to stand here for like a second go back and there you go it's back I, it's annoying but I, I don't know man they're just they're doing it whatever another light thing i wanted to go over which is good to bring into gunfights is sliding into a drop shot now this is where you just slide and then you're gonna press b right afterwards so you go into a drop shot right out of the slide instead of standing up so you're just gonna double tap b but you're also gonna just hold it right so you're gonna bb hold and you're gonna drop so if you want to use this from the enemy pov a lot of the time it gets you lost in their sights because they're shooting at you sliding and you prone and they're still up here depends on the angle it works but just get into the habit if you're going to do this if you're going to do this move just bb hold it and then you go into a drop shot so if you just bb shoot whatever i mean obviously you could prone while you're shooting whatever the case is you don't have to wait because there's shooting while sliding now which is nice they brought that in the game so just b hold b go right down it's easy simple Next thing I want to go over is snaking. This is I'm going over all the simple stuff first because I want to uh, I want you guys to have all the basics down before anything else. Before we get into the whole twisting and redirecting and misdirections and everything like that. I want you guys to have the basics down. This is for more competitive play. Um, so what you're going to want to do is just find a cover like a ledge that you can head glitch behind or crouch behind or prone behind whatever the case is. And all you're going to do is you're going to hold just say I'm standing right here, right? You're going to prone backwards with your left stick run up prone backwards run up very quick and from the enemy pov it's like you can barely see your head this is more for multiplayer cdl type of competitive movement but i mean i guess obviously you can use it in warzone 
in certain situations and buildings and rooms whatever the case is this is banned and competitive right now because they i guess they just can't find the fix for it but this is definitely one of the simpler moves you're not going to have any issues with i mean i hope not it's just proning backwards forward proning backwards forward into a sprint right so you're not just going to prone back and then forward you're going to click the left stick in so you go into a running animation it's basically going to put you into like an almost tack sprint as if you were sprinting out of the prone but it's simple it's easy once you do it maybe like three times you're going to master it it's really nothing difficult here's the time where i wish i could say we could go over b hopping but as you guys know b hopping is not in this game very very sad very sad um planning on bringing it back supposedly not sure who knows we'll see what happens but this is really all we got now not really much to teach just you know there's nothing to even time or anything it's just not in the game next thing i'm gonna go over it has to do with dolphin diving right so i said that i don't use dolphin diving in multiplayer and i'm not using it right now when warzone comes i probably will be using it but something to note when you are when you do have dolphin diving on is you can dolphin dive off of ledges and it'll stand you right up it's basically called like a like a dolphin flop or whatever you want to call it so if i was to do this I'm, I can stand off of that, right? There's certain objects where you can, uh, you can like glide off of it and it looks really crazy from an enemy POV and you can just glide off it like that. See, and you can just run whatever the case is from the enemy POV. It just looks like you literally belly flop onto here and you're just running right afterwards. Very, very fast. You guys also have to note that they did fix the, the fall damage for like high, you know, jumps, right? so this dolphin dive mechanic can be used in a lot of good ways in warzone i'm probably going to change it back uh when warzone comes out so that i can dolphin dive as well especially because of how far the distance is like if i was to come up here to this high top right the ac vent and i jump off i'm gonna go about right here now if i dive off of this i'm gonna go all the way here you know what i mean the higher you are the farther you're gonna go with the dive that's just what it is like here it's not gonna make much of a difference i can jump off of this and i'll go about to this corner of the shadow if i dive off of it it's gonna be about the same thing maybe a little further yeah see so like a little bit further it depends how high you are and we know in warzone there's a lot of high points so diving is definitely going to be useful in warzone especially the fact that you can dive and parachute onto like other roofs you guys see me do that a lot on vondel now we can talk about where it gets good this is where things start to get very good right okay this is misdirecting this is redirects misdirects whatever you want to call it so when i'm moving on someone i like to slide i like to 360 but there's there's a science to it it's not just sitting there sliding and 360ing and just doing whatever you want right so misdirections and redirects come a lot from the left stick and the right stick combined and the player models this year in mw3 look a lot more like mw2019 than they did in mw2 mw2 was more slow and sluggish this year the models from another person's pov look a lot like 2019 when it comes to spinning and misdirects and everything like that right so this is why i play on high sense obviously movement is back and when i'm about to move on someone if someone is standing right here and i go this way and then i want to come back this way um i need to do that fast you've seen the videos of the twitch streamers and everything like that the povs that i've been posting on twitter i do a lot of zigzags right that's not possible on a low sense if i was a competitive player and cared more about competitive and hitting every single one of my shots i would probably go to like 8 8 right and i would just be beaming shit but i feel so slow on this sensitivity now keep in mind your dead zone does have a lot to do with this but even on such a low sense, you can't physically zigzag. It doesn't work. Anybody who really can hit shots and has half of a brain is going to kill you. You just, you can't get from left to right fast enough for them to be able to not comprehend it. You understand? I need to be on high sense. You need to switch directions fast. So if you want to be moving left, right, this backwards 360, you need to be on a high sense. You need to be able to switch directions as fast as possible. I've played on 2020. I played on 1919. I'm on 1717 right now. I feel like it fits me the best. You just need to be able to move left and right as fast as you possibly can. And with low sense, obviously you can't do that. From enemies POV, it looks good. I'm going to show you guys some examples of what it looks like from an enemies POV after I just break down really how to do it. The thing with moving left and right with this is if there's someone in front of you and you want to zigzag them, a lot of the times your aim assist will slow you down, right? So if there's an enemy here and I'm zigzagging left and right, and I'm trying to move my right stick left and right to keep going, my aim assist will slow it down. So it'll look like this and then slow and then 
whatever in a faster motion right so that's why a lot of times you can go down so you go under them so your aim assist doesn't get caught on them right now if you want to talk about misdirects and redirections if i'm running this way and then i want to go like this that's exactly why you need high sense along with the whole zigzag high sense you look at the floor and you go right to the other way right so you can change directions extremely fast and from the enemy's pov it really looks like you kind of moonwalk because your player model cannot keep up with how fast you just turned from left to right from their pov it kind of looks like you walk backwards and then your player and just whips he just whips around to the other side into another direction right now if we're talking about when you see a streamer or when you see somebody from a pov you want to get your movement i like to mix things up slide cancel 360 this is more advanced and this is going to take some some getting used to and some practicing when you slide cancel into a 360 right you're not just going to slide and leave it there okay you're not going to do that because you're just going to be crouched you have to incorporate a slide cancel into a 360 and you're going to come right into a running animation right so when you come and you slide and you 360 and you run, this is when the misdirections and the redirects all come into play. Because if you do this and there's someone standing right here and I go like this, you see what I did? You go left and then you go back right. So when I come into the slide cancel, I 360, this is where the redirects come into play, right? You have to practice this. It's very useful because when you're sliding, you look fast. They sped up the slide this year. Obviously, they brought slide canceling back. It's fast. It's a good mechanic. You can mix it in with a lot of things. You can even add the misdirects to the slide cancel, right? So if I was just running, boom, slide cancel, boom, back the other way. So you need to be on high sense to go left and right fast. We went through this, but you can add the slide cancels in. You can add the 360s. And slide 360, and you want to whip your left stick around like a clockwise motion. If you're going left, if you're going right, you can do counterclockwise clockwise doesn't matter so if i slide 360 once i'm at this point you whip your left stick around but make sure you cancel the slide it's more of muscle memory for me now but if you have to practice this it's not going to take long to learn you're going to boom go like this as i'm doing that my left stick is completely making a clockwise motion right so when i'm sliding boom my 360 clockwise motion the most important thing in this entire tutorial for moving povs is really the redirection and just the way that you want your player to go and having a high sense and having him able to boom go left and then right and then left and then right etc so you just want to be able to switch your directions as fast as possible but don't raise your sensitivity because i see this all the time don't raise your sensitivity too high to the point where you literally can't hit shots I see clips on Twitter, their sensitivity is maxed out, they're moving, shaking their screen everywhere, and they can't even hit a shot. They're shooting everywhere, they're shooting blanks. Don't do that. Find your perfect sense, find what works for you, find what's fast enough for you to be able to move. If you want to practice your movement, don't even kill the person. Just let them kill you. Walk up to them and just do as much as you possibly can. Do all your movement, do everything you want to do, and watch the kill cam and figure out what you can improve on, where you looked slow, where you looked fast, and repeat. And just practice this, and I promise it's going to come easier than you think. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really wanted to teach you guys my movement and how I move and my signature moves and everything like that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Warzone comes out literally a week for me recording this. I'm so excited to be, you know, posting daily and gameplays and everything like that. And TTV videos, it's going to be great. It's going to be so amazing. It actually seems like movement really is coming back. I know it sounds crazy, but I think we've all been waiting for this. These videos are about to be so goaded. I can't wait to bring them to you guys. I hope I taught you guys something. I hope your movement improves. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you to death.